Hey, what's going on? Do a quick uh, tip video, I guess. Something you may already know about, so you can clearly stop watching uh, once you figure it out. But if not, it's I believe it's a feature of Pro Tools that's been around a little while, but I didn't know about it. I asked a few other uh, producers who I respect, and they didn't know about it either, which was surprising. So um, I brought up the Pro Tools preferences window here. Uh, default EQ, default dynamics under the mix mixing tab in your preferences allow you to pick one EQ and one compressor or limiter, etc., and just have that always displayed on your inserts menu. So if you're not aware of this, that allows this to happen. So those two will always exist right there, right? When you pop up the insert menu, your uh, EQ of choice, and in this case, my limiter of choice will always sit right here. But we want a little more leeway with that. So if we expand out and go to our multi-channel plugins, you'll see up here, um, I have mine in uh, vendors and categories, but above your categories, there's nothing there, but we can change that. So now you don't have to be uh, relegated to just one EQ and one limiter or really just those two plugins, we can create new favorites. So on Mac, hold down command, I believe on uh, PC, hold down control. Anyway, so let's just go ahead, do that, click that. And now when we come back over here, that sits up there. Uh, my favorite part though, is it's not just EQs and compressors. Uh, we can, you know, let's, um, let me just do a few real fast here. Um, I'm just literally, oh, I just instantiated it. Sorry about that. And now it's causing me problems. Uh, here, I use the stereo with a lot. Should have like three up there now. Okay, you get the idea. So you can put any plugins you want up there, and uh, every time you open up Pro Tools, they will remain. Uh, but if you also bring come down here to the, you know, depending on what kind of a track you're on, your multi mono plugin favorites are different from your multi channel plugin favorites. So I had already selected a few of these and put them up here. I'm on a mono audio track up here, and this menu is different as well. Um, this, these aren't probably the, what I'll leave as my favorites. I think I was randomly testing it out, but as you can see, you can have any types, uh, there's contact, there's the isotope delay that I really enjoy. There's your effect rack from our good friends at sound toys. Anyway, you get the idea here. Now, uh, last thing I'll mention about this, uh, let's come back down to our, the stereo track that we were working with. Uh, so we've instantiated these three up here as favorites. They'll always be there. But now I've decided, you know what? I don't use the nonlinear reverb all that much. And actually, I don't. So let's hold down Command or Control again, click it. And that is how you quickly get rid of them as well. That's it. Super simple video. Hopefully it helped you.